So today we're going to be moving on to Luke chapter 15 and we're reading verses 8 through 10. Suppose a woman has 10 silver coins and she loses one. Won't she light a lamp and sweep the house? Won't she search carefully until she finds the coin? And when she finds it, she will call her friends and neighbors together. She will say, be joyful with me. I have found my lost coin. I tell you, it is the same in heaven. There is joy in heaven over one sinner who turns away from sin. So picture this lady. She has 10 silver coins. And in those days, that would have represented a lot of money. That's like another treasure, like we were talking about earlier this week. And she lost one of those coins. Now, she's in her home, right? And she's trying to figure out where this lost coin is. So what is she gonna do first of all? She's gonna put on all the possible light she can in the house because she's not gonna find it if it's dark, right? And then she's going to start sweeping the house because maybe it slid under a rug or, or under some of the furniture or somewhere, right? So she knows it's got to be somewhere in that house, but she can't find it. And so she continues sweeping and she continues looking until she finds that lost coin. And now, how is she responding? She is so excited, so happy. She goes out and she says, come, come, come to my house. We're gonna have a celebration. We're gonna have a party because I lost one of my precious coins and I found it and I want you to come and have a party with me. And you know what? I love that last verse. I tell you, it is the same in heaven. There is joy in heaven over one sinner who turns away from sin. Now, remember yesterday how we were talking about the, the fish and how the good fish and the bad fish were separated and that in the end, in the judgment, that God's going to do the same with us, that those who have given their lives to Jesus, those are referred to as good fish in that story, right? They will go to heaven. And those who have not given their lives to Jesus, there's another place that's prepared for them that none of us want to go to. And so this verse is telling us something similar, right? That when any of us gives our lives to Jesus, we see our need of a Savior and we ask Jesus to come into our lives and to cleanse us from our sins and to be our God, then what happens in heaven? I love this. There's a great big party. God and the angels are celebrating over us. So one day, many, many, many years ago, there was a celebration in heaven when I gave my heart to Jesus. And if you've done that, there was a celebration in heaven the day you did that too. But I wanna remind you that we all, we don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. So today, if you have not already given your life to Jesus, I want you to consider doing that today, okay? Pray and tell God that you have sinned and you have no way to come back into relationship with him without Jesus and ask Jesus to be your savior. And you know, God gives you that free gift of eternal life when you do that. And then there will be a party in heaven. Isn't that awesome? Let's pray together. Lord, I thank you that we have this scripture to tell us that when even one person gives their life to you, that there's a party in heaven. And how awesome it would be today if somebody who is watching would give their heart to you, Jesus, and that there would be a party in heaven. We thank you for that in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, if you should happen to realize that you need Jesus as your Savior, and you do that today, I would love it if you would let me know. It would just make me have a party too. All right? Awesome. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you.